and we're back to learning HTML tags and this time I'm going to show you the div tag. It stands for division and it's a simple tag. There are just a couple of things to keep in mind. Usually it's used to put other elements into a container. Let me just put my h1 and the h3 into a container. The div tag has a closing tag, so don't forget it. And it won't change anything in the formatting of my website, but you can then use this container, give it for example a class, and then style it later on with CSS. But there's one thing that needs to be said about it. Let me add it to the paragraph below. If I just add it like this, I've put the entire paragraph into another container. Nothing is going to change in the browser display. But if I put the closing tag right here, I only have the first sentence in my container and the second isn't. So if I save it and reload it in the browser, you can see that the second sentence is now on a new line. And this is what the div does. It gives you before it and after it a line break. So if I put, for example, the opening tag right here and I have the second sentence in a container, I'll save it, reload it, and you can see the second sentence. It stays on a new line because every time you introduce a new div or you close it, a line break is forced onto your content. For the first example, the h1 and the h3, they have line breaks by default, so you won't see a change, but when you add it to paragraphs, you will have this change. And this is how you can use the div tag in HTML. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.